Hi there, Leos. So uh, let's talk about your reading. First of all, I'm seeing this energy about things kind of building, 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 culminating, and then kind of exploding, and then everything gets released. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, if there has been like um, an undercurrent of passive aggressiveness uh, in your living environment with roommates, with people that you're living with, with people that you're married to, if you're under the same roof, there are going to be uh, some type of a culmination. And I don't feel it needs to be detrimental, but I do sense that for many of you, the realization that you might need to change your physical location, the realization that you're going to need to hash things out and talk things out and not be passive aggressive about things anymore. And also the realization that you need to, both parties need to make a change is in store for you. So if there has been, you know, just kind of like things swept under the rug and especially passive aggressive energies where both parties are kind of skirting around the issue, I feel that it's going to come to a head. I feel it needs to be dealt with. And I feel that in the process of talking about things at first, you're not going to agree with each other and then let it drag out, let it drag out, you know, for two, three, four hours, however long it takes. And then at the end, everyone is worn out and they're going to want to compromise and they're going to compromise in a way where before you only saw, you know, your way and then you only saw their way and neither party could agree. I feel like you're going to come into this point of, you know, you're exhausted about talking about this. And then there's a brand new solution where it doesn't even require a compromise from both parties. It just denotes a brand new solution that neither of you have really thought about. And so just the process of talking things out will kind of stimulate your imagination and allow the two of you to creatively problem solve and come up with a third solution. Okay, so I feel like that's what it's going to take. And I feel for many of you, this is a living arrangement change. For many of you, I feel like there's conflict with family members, which will lead to some type of a restructuring um, of the housing situation or the living arrangement. And it's going to be very, very good. It's going to be, um, you know, a, a, there is there is going to be an optimal solution that caters to everybody's needs. Okay. I'm sensing for many of you, they say like the building up of pressure and then everything gets released. Um, I feel like there's new addition to the family. So childbirth, child rearing, uh, preparing yourself for a situation that is like very unexpected. I feel like, you know, water breaking. Um, I'm seeing like a dam and then water breaking, but I feel like it, it denotes childbirth addition to the family and things that are kind of unexpected. Okay. Like, um, very last minute, very unexpected. And I feel like your family members are all going to come together and help you through this process. So I feel like, you know, family, we love them, we hate them, but we can't live without them. So they're going to come through, they're going to pull through in a very wonderful way to allow you to, um, know where you stand with them. I feel like, you know, it, it's like we can overcome our differences and pull through for one another in times of hardships. So I feel like that's what's uh, happening here. And that's what's really going to, uh, you're going to come into a sense of appreciation just, you know, based on that fact. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a lot of children here, a lot of, uh, children running around all, all the time. Every time I do a reading for you guys, a lot of children, like by your feet running around, they're also growing like weeds. So there's a lot of expenditures, but I feel like the expenditures, you're happily doing it because you want your loved ones to be provided for. I also feel there are issues here when it comes to co-parenting. Um, they want the kids with their in-laws or their, their family. You want the kids with your family. So there are logistical issues about shuttling the kids back and forth between different houses for the holidays. I'm also sensing as well, child support, reneging on child support, um, issues regarding child support, reneging on child support and issues about not wanting. It, it's almost like, Oh, you didn't pay, you, you didn't pay into, 
uh, the child support account so you don't get to you know you don't get to a say as to where I'm enrolling the kids which hospital we're going to how I raise the kids so there are some issues here when it comes to co-parenting and you know it is the holiday season so these things do creep up a lot more and it's also I feel like there are financial entanglements between you and other people uh, in terms of like co-parenting and child support, okay? So I feel like many of you moving into the year 2018, you're planning some major, major restructuring in your own life. Uh, the, first of, the first thing that I do see coming up here is, um, I don't know if some of you are dealing, especially for those who are dealing with like, um, I wanna say uh, alcohol issues, Okay, you're you're going to be very conscientious about what you need to do to better yourself, what you need to do to kind of um, take better care of your health and to be more conscientious about what you're putting in your body. I see as well moderation when it comes to eating, when it comes to putting substances in your body and when it comes overall to really identifying what's really good for your body and what's not. I'm also feeling as well, some of you are, um, you're, you're, you're a little bit scared moving into 2018. There's a lot of uncertainty. The only certain thing that you know is that things will be okay because I have my family. And so if we take out, you know, the family, if we take out everybody else that's around us, and if we ask you, are you self-sufficient on your own? I feel like the answer might be like a, a very hesitant no I like I'm not really comfortable being on my own I'm not very self-sufficient so there are issues here regarding self-sufficiency that you have to work through for 2018 and um, the thing about self-sufficiency is we take us uh, away all the the safety nets you know we take away all the financial safety net the emotional safety net that comes through our partner or our family and we want to get to the bottom of it like how self-sufficient am I what do I need to do to get myself to a point where I'm self-sufficient where I can rely on myself where I can take care of everything I need to take care of because I feel like issues about where you stand how firm your own foundation is independent of other people uh, that's gonna be a sore spot for you guys moving into 2018 sore spots weak spots are things that we need to focus on fixing because it's gonna lay a foundation for you for everything else to be built upon and if it's a weak foundation it's gonna come crashing down so I feel like many of you need to really look at this really examine this concept in terms of like individuality where do I stand Am I able to take care of myself? When all these safety nets fall away, am I self-sufficient? Okay. Um, I feel new jobs, a lot of new jobs available to you. And I feel like uh, grab new opportunities. They're not going to be, you know, like a career or like a, a job that you're going to be stuck at for years and years and years without opportunities for promotion. I feel like they're temporary short-term jobs that help you pick up a specific skill so it could be as mundane as you know working as a, a at a pizzeria and you're learning customer service skills working at a movie theater so that you can be a little bit more technologically savvy when you're operating you know the cash register or you know the the um, the touch screen whatever um, accounting system so I feel like these are mundane jobs, but they're helping you pick up very specific skills that you're going to need later on. So don't knock it. Just uh, if you're struggling financially, you know, go for these jobs. OK, because I feel like you have an abundance of wealth, um, income generating opportunities coming into 2018. All right. So don't fret Leo's. Everything will be fine. And I feel like you just need to find your bearing. You need to find your center. You need to find that sense of self right now and figure out where you are. And so that you can figure out the next step, which is where you're trying to go and what steps are necessary for you to get where you want to go. And a lot of the times, if you're constantly surrounded by other people, you know, family members, and um, <clears throat> I feel almost like, it's really hard for you to find that sense of self. 
So, you know, drown out the noise. Really, you know, take this time. It's still Mercury retrograde until December 23rd. Take the time to really ask yourself these important questions, okay? And so it's going to help you get where you need to be, all right? I wish you all the best. Get enough sleep. Get enough rest. And, um, you know, talk things out. The process of talking things out will allow us to kind of reach creative solutions, okay? Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon.